Okay, um, I'm making this tutorial because I, for myself, know um, how difficult it is uh, for a beginner to just jump right into programming. When I started programming with Dark Basic, I had uh, no initial programming skills at all, no familiarity with this programming language or any other programming language, and so it was very frustrating for me um, due to the lack of beginner information to get started and it took a long time for me to assimilate different information and figure things out. So, for anyone who is just starting programming and decided to use Dark Basic, this tutorial, I believe, is going to help a lot because there's a lot of advanced tutorials out, but very few, few sources of information for just beginners. And those that, that do exist are still kind of technical, and so I'm going to simplify things. For the beginning programmer, one of the first things you're going to want to do is obviously you're going to want to print text to the screen. You're going to want to put words on the screen. And with Dark Basic, this is done with a simple command, um, print. All you have to do is type the word print, and then within quotation marks, designate the words you want to put onto the screen. So I'm going to choose the words, hello world. And that's it. That's actually a program print hello world. What our program does is it's going to pull up a screen, it's going to say the word hello world, and um, well then we run into a problem. Uh, this by itself actually is a program, but uh, check out what it does. Nothing. Nothing at all. Um, hold on, I need to pause real fast. Okay, I'm back. Uh, get rid of that. Now, I'm going to show you what's going to happen if we run this program as, as is. Execute. And there's going to be a window right here. There's different ways to run Dark Basic. But, and nothing. Nothing at all. Why? Because in Dark Basic, when the line of commands runs out, when there's nothing more, it ends the program. So, with the speed that computers run out nowadays, what this has done is it pulled up a window said hello world really fast and then closed it again. That doesn't do any good if you want to look at it. So we use a new command. Wait key. All of this all of this command does is it pauses the program, freezes it until I hit a button, any button. So execute. And it pulls up the window. And look at that. Hello world right there. So now all I have to do is hit a button, any button, I'll choose the Q button and it ends it. Um, new for uh, if you're just getting in and you're wonder getting into Dark Basic and your program runs differently, it runs full screen, um, I changed my window over here. I just find it more convenient, especially with the recording program that I'm using to put it in a window. It doesn't do anything to the actual programming. Now, um, uh, w with any program, you're going to need to manipulate numbers a lot. Everything's done by numbers. Everything is compared to numbers, subtracting, adding, multiplying, dividing. If a score is high enough, you get to go on to the next level or you get bonus points or whatever have you. And so we do this in Dark Basic with variables. You can just, um, for visual visualization, think of your computer memory as a long series of cubby holes. Each of those cubby holes is a variable. You give the cubbyhole a name and you put a va value into it. So we're going to name a variable, a cubbyhole, score. Now there's a cubbyhole named score. And into that cubbyhole named score, we're going to put a value of 5. And there you go. That's a variable. There are different uh, types of variables. Um, there's integer, there's float, there's um, oh string and character, and depending on what... Uh, Depending on what the programming language you're using, it's going to be different. Score is just an integer. Very basic. Um, an integer cannot hold uh, fractional values, decimals. 5.5 would not work for this. Score can hold, um, I'm sorry, integers can hold negative and positive values, but they have to be uh, whole numbers, not fractions. Uh, okay. Now, uh, we can do different things with that score of 5. One thing we can do is we can print it to the screen. Print score. Remember to put the wait key in there. And execute. And 
and 5 right there. Um, so we took the value of score and we printed it to the screen. And now since we're at the wait key pause, we hit a key and it should wait. And it should go over just like that. So um, obviously score by itself, 5 isn't going to do you much good. We need to manipulate that in a couple different ways. So let's say we have score equals 5, and let's say we want to calculate, oh, pl bonus points for the player. So we make a new variable called enemies killed, and we assign it a score of 10. All right, so there's a new variable, a new cubbyhole, called enemies killed with a value of 10. And we make another cubbyhole, another bonus, uh, I'm sorry, another variable, we're going to name it bonus. Now we're going to do some math. So bonus equals, let's say we want the bonus points to be equal to your score times enemies killed. So we take score, and we use the asterisk, which in programming usually means multiply, and we multiply score by enemies killed. So now bonus equals 50, 5 times 10, and we can print bonus. Execute. And lo and behold, 50 prints out on the screen. Very good. And we hit a button, wait key, goes to the end, and we're done. Um, so that's just some simple math. We can do other things. We can add them, subtract, multiply, uh, and divide. Different things we can do. There's also another um, uh, function that you can, uh, math function you can use called modulus. I'll explain that later though, because it's not as familiar to most people. Um, hmm. uh, let me pause for a second. Uh, real quick, I noticed that in my last thing I kind of put the uh, arithmetic uh, operators in the wrong place. I put them over here, or something like that. That wouldn't work, because score enemy is not a uh, variable, so that was just a mistake on my part. Now, um, as uh, I was collecting my thoughts, I realized one thing you're going to want to do is you're also going to want to put text and uh, numerical values on the screen at the same time. So we do the print command, and just like we did before, we can put text onto the screen and, uh, and close it in quotation marks. And then if we want to put a numerical value, we put a comma, and we put the variable name that we want to print, in this case, bonus. And we hit execute, and bonus is 50, see? Now, one thing that's important to remember, if you're new to programming, if you're a programming veteran, this can be obvious too, but if you're new to programming and you're not sure about things, this can be a little, it can be, it's a good thing to know. With text, it does nothing. You can lie all you want. In other words, I can say score, and is equal to and just print out bonus and then execute and what's going to come up is score is 50 now score is not 50 but text doesn't do anything to the program except print it out so we can lie all we like with that um uh, I'm going to give a quick uh, overview of the other of a couple other data types and I think that'll be it for our first uh, tutorial. Um, I mentioned earlier about uh, integers. Well, there are other types of uh, data types as well. Um, there's float data types uh, and string data types. Um, hold on a second. Okay. Let's say score. We want score to hold a fractional value. We're going to make score no longer an integer, but um, a real number. Uh, words that are commonly associated with this that are similar data types, but not entirely the same. Float, um, double, which is more of a C++ variation. Um, Dark Basic usually just uses the term real. So what we do is we name our variable score, and then at the end of it we put a pound symbol just like that. Now score is no longer an integer, it is a real number, and it can hold fractions. So 5.5, print, score, execute.
cute. 